Hello there, I'm Chef John, and today I'm cooking up some smoked chicken wings on the Weber kettle. I enjoy cooking wings. Uh, the family enjoys hot wings. They enjoy barbecue wings. So today it's going to be smoked chicken wings on the Weber kettle. And I tell you what, folks, if you like barbecued chicken recipes, then you're in the right place. So look for my barbecue recipes. Look for my barbecue chicken. I'm going to put links down below so you can see some of these other videos. I'll put my chicken playlist down below. I got a lot of them. A lot of people enjoy watching my barbecue chicken. So stick around and let me show you how I do smoked chicken wings on the Weber kettle. So here we go. Big bag of wings. Uh, John's got some friends down today and we're gonna be seasoning them up with Phil's uh, hot chick. It's an excellent rub and we'll top them off with the uh, original or traditional barbecue sauce from Phil. Um, put a link down below for him, but nice guy. Met him and his lovely wife in Amarillo, and they did good. But let's get this bag open, and let's see how we make some fantastic hot wings. We're gonna use all these wings. You know, you can buy them already cut up. It's a little bit cheaper if you cut them up yourself. So, hey, that's what I'm doing tonight, but I'm gonna open my bag up. I got the whole wing, and we're just going to cut them up. I'm gonna take my knife, get a good sharp knife, see where it bends. And if you hit cartilage, it's not hard. You saw how I went straight through it right there. We're gonna go there, and then we're gonna come find that joint here, right? Okay, where you're at, come down. Again, it's an easy cut. If you're on bone, it's gonna be hard. Stop, relocate, find that joint. Again, find the joint, the tips, we're not gonna use it all. Cut that off. Find the joint here, straight through. I'm gonna cut these up get right back with you and I'll show you how I uh, season these up. Now, while those wings are getting cut up, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about a Facebook group that I have. It's called the Big Sexy Barbecue Society. People have been asking me for, uh, for merchandise and things like that, so the first one I'm gonna do is advertising that, that Facebook group. So this is the T-shirt, this is what we're gonna be offering. You'll find the link down below if you're interested in it. Uh, if you share it around, I'd really appreciate that. It's not going to be offered for a real long time, kind of a kind of a short offering, just a few weeks. We're going to have these on sale, but it's the Big Sexy Barbecue Society, and this says founding member of Texas Style Cuisine. So anyways, if you like the Big Sexy Barbecue Society t-shirt, or you got a big sexy guy uh, in your life, ladies, or guys, if you think you are one, you need one of these t-shirts, uh, go ahead and order your one. So let's get back. See how those wings uh, got uh, cut up and see if we can get them seasoned up. This is what we're putting on it. Phil's hot chick. You can kind of see that. It's got a pretty good amount of spice to it, but I'm going to take these wings and I'm going to dump about half of them in this other bowl. Now I'm going to take uh, my hot chick and I'm just going to sprinkle it around on top of whatever was on the top of it. Pretty good amount in there. The stuff is uh, not for the weak at heart, but we're gonna shake it around. Kind of see, I just shake it and flip it. Shake it and flip it. And it's gonna mix that around on there. Kind of do it the same way when I get the sauce on them after they're cooked. I wanna spread that sauce around, or that rub around. Right there, gonna put a little more in it. Phil got this pretty spicy, so these are gonna be pretty hot, but uh, Again, right there. You can take your hands, work them with your hands if you want to. That's not bad. Take my other bowl. Again, up on top. Wind's blowing today, so. On there. And just toss these around till they all get coated. Wings are all coated pretty good, so I'm gonna put them back in a bowl together. They look seasoned pretty well. And I'm just gonna let these sit here while I get the fire going. So get these covered up and uh, I'll get back with you as soon as the fire's ready to go and that'll give these time to marinate. But we're gonna be using some uh, harder charcoal lump charcoal uh, with our slow and sear. And we're gonna get that Weber kettle up to about, oh, 350, 375. I wanna render the fat out of this skin. That'll help them crisp up. And then we'll get them on there. It won't take long to cook them at all. So let me get the fire going. We got the fire going pretty good. I have got some uh, harder lump charcoal along with a little bit of cherry wood in there. 
So that cherry ought to give it a nice flavor. We're gonna put the bigger pieces kind of up here by the fire. And then I'm gonna put the flats, right? Put the drummies up here and put the flat back here, a little further away. Might take a little bit longer to get them on, but you know, I think it's gonna be worth it. We got five pounds of wings coming on. They are gonna be a spicy wing with this uh, Phil's Gourmet Rub on here. And there you have it. They're all on there. And we have answered the question of, can you get five pounds of wings on a Weber kettle using the slow and sear? Answer is yes, it's covered up. That flame will go out some. Let's get this open. We're about 25 minutes in. They're looking nice and brown. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna switch these. I'm gonna turn them over. And I'm gonna move which rack they're on or what position they're on. So those are gonna go up, these are gonna go back. You see our fire's kind of moving across there. So start out with the heat here and it kind of getting closer to these down here. We're gonna check the uh, temperature of all of them. All right, so we're 25 minutes in. We're in the 140s. These are getting close. I'm gonna close it up. We're gonna let this go another 10 minutes. Now, let's check these out. See where we're at temperature-wise. The front ones are the ones we're worried about. It is 165. Let's do some random checks here. 165. 170, 70, quick fly over here. Gonna check these out. They are looking pretty. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get some of these wings out, sauce maybe about a third of them. That way everybody can have sauced, unsauced, and a few extra, just not sauce for me, right? Uh, I do have a video up. If y'all wanna see how I lost 100 pounds in six months, that video is there, so get over there and watch that. It is interesting. I'll, I'll put a link down below. Some of you are looking at me and you're still that big? Yeah, I'm still that big. Uh, down 100 pounds, got another 40 to 50 to go. We're hoping to be there by June. And I'm just going here. Y'all can see in there. Um, I'm taking the Phil's uh, traditional sauce. Uh, I've tried this before, it's very good. Um, we just, uh, oh yeah, good. A uh, little vinegar in it, a little sweetness to it. Very traditional barbecue sauce. And all I'm gonna do is, is pour on my sauce. Now again, I'm gonna do my toss. Take them and just flip them over. So we get them coated real good all over. I've kind of found it's a lot easier in brushing them a whole lot faster. And it'll coat them real good. And we wanna set this sauce. So what I'm gonna do is, we'll put these back on that Weber kettle now for maybe five minutes. Maybe a little time to cool off some, so they're gonna be real good, but we're gonna have that nice hot, hot, uh, hot chick on it from Phil's. And now we've got a traditional sauce that's not real hot. A little vinegar, a little sweet. And we're gonna get these onto the kettle and uh, set the sauce. And then we'll do a taste test for you. So let's open this up. I'm just gonna kind of dump these on there. No particular way I'm gonna put them on. Just want the heat to get on them. Wanna separate them where they're not all touching each other. And again, these are cooked all the way. They're fully cooked. They're all up to 165 degrees. So they're ready to go. So let's close it up. Five minutes, we'll give them a try. It's been about five minutes. We're gonna get these off. Pulling these off real quick. That sauce looks like it's set pretty good on them. So we're gonna plate these up and uh, let y'all see how they taste. Tell you what, they look beautiful, smell great. That cherry wood was wonderful on them. 
This hot chick rub is very good. And uh, my wife, she's been putting it on everything. So, like I said, I had to hold her back to keep some for this video, but uh, just a, a beautiful wing. The ones with the sauce are even prettier because it's set on there. It's got a beautiful sheen to them, but these aren't bad looking either. So, my sauce taster got here. He'd been out running around. Pierre, you wanna get in here with us? Crowd in here, you can crowd in here. I'm good. All right, hey, I've got a couple of taste testers here. So, I use the uh, uh, Phil's uh, Hot Chip from Phil's Gourmet Sauces. But y'all guys, if y'all can try either one, but I wanted y'all to try them. I'm gonna try the one with no sauce. Pierre, take your pick. Good smoke, little heat. Mm -hmm. good. The last batch we made, remember that was salty? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not at all. No. What do you think, Pierre? That's on point. That's on point. Good stuff. Pierre's a good friend of John's. They played football together in college. He came down for the weekend, so he's getting to partake in the hot wings as we're filming here. You want to try one of the unsauced ones, John? See what you think on it. What do you think about this Phil's uh, traditional sauce that he's got? It's not too much. Not it's too perfect. spicy. Mm. What's good? It's not too mm. salty. Where a lot of these are too salty. Folks, there you have it. Uh, got a couple of hungry guys in here. Uh, John likes them just fine. Pierre likes them good. But great wings. And uh, thank you for stopping by. Always appreciate you stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Remember to get below. Check out my t-shirts. Big Sexy Barbecue Society founding member t-shirts. So get down there. Get you one of those. Uh, the link will be down below. Uh, once again, we do appreciate y'all. Thanks for stopping by, and we're going to see you down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Goodbye, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.